Some factors, the status of the patients involved, whether they are still in the system or not. Um, maybe starting from the immigration, I can say much whether they have been interdicted. Um, um, perhaps from immigration, I can tell um, we would have to go back and confirm because we have the names of the individuals who are involved. Then um, the become a sub treasury. Uh, that's the one that has paid off. Um, paid. Um, this is almost almost 15 years ago. I will have to go find out. But I, what I know is that it's still working with government. That's the the camera sub -trade. The individual is still working with government. Yes. Okay. Then um, for the big camera, the other that's the health center. Then the, for the sub -trade, um he is not the uh, he's out of jurisdiction. The big camera sub -trade. and uh, some of these cases they are almost almost 15, 20 years ago. Um, we would have to go back because some of them I learned their disease. Um, I know the Bekama sub treasury is not in town. The Kerala sub treasury also is no longer working with government and would have retired long ago. The Jaydenbury sub treasury also it's it's no longer working with government. The directory of treasury, um, as far as I know, um, those who were involved are no longer from Accountant General, they are no longer with Accountant General. Perhaps we would have to confirm those who were, uh, were involved from the security, um, from the security uh, uh, institutions. We would have to confirm because we have the details. Then forestry, I know he, he is not in town, he is uh, not in Gambia. Then uh, the mission in Bissau, he is uh, in town, but um, he's not mentally stable. The mission in Paris is the same as the Camera Sub Treasury, he's also not in Gambia. And for the intellectual property, I definitely have no details of those involved. Perhaps we can go back and maybe work on obtaining the details and confirm whatever you want to confirm for those that we are not sure of. Tell me a of who did I propose that we have the full details of the individuals involved. And their status. Mr. Chair, please give me beyond one name because this would involve a lot of consultation for this one. to do with the cases and the status, but not to the extent of the details of who when we were involved. I think this was not coming as to you know the fact that we had to provide details of who and who were involved and what their status is. Um, that wasn't the understanding and perhaps that's the reason why we did not drill into uh, those. Of course some are very obvious because some of them are our staff. But like the likes of the security, um, the seaports and so on, um, that was in the understanding, and that the reason why perhaps it's not part of the open we provided. We would have. Now, I think this particular resolution uh, directly affects the respective institutions from the Assembly General, the police, and then the national audit, as well as the judiciary. Now, they are to give us the names, amount, dates and the current status. So some of them, the accountant general may not be in position to put me the judiciary if it is at the level of the judiciary. Or at the police, police, 
it is at the level of the list. So what we're supposed to get, the information we're supposed to get from her is the list of the individuals that are affected for institutions. Now what action has been taken? The accountant general will submit the report to the police. The police will do the investigation. When the mission is completed, for what is the judiciary for advice and then for prosecution. Now had that been done, if the procedure has been done, the case is completed, then all that. So that's why we have them here. Then having them will give us the tip on what we may need from the police. Now that the police will be coming, it will also give us their part of the service. So that's some reason is that if you have to give the update, make sure this is be passed. In fact, as part of the resolution, it means the amount which and the statement is not only the statement that is supposed to be in place, but all this should be part of the opinion. Yeah. Yeah. For instance, yes. So we have been giving you to the first, so you can have time to do your inquiry or consultation. So the first, uh, you mean to say um, we can, um, we should include all the items for the first, or do we have to, or we provide a generic update, the overall update by the 31st, right, okay. including the orders that exactly. we Any other issue on resolution one? Yes, yes, yeah. by way of update, I think the Forty General also should inform us whether there are any other fraudulent cases which are not captured by the Accountant General's department. This yes, uh, on this what uh, this was the resolution of the 18th September. It is saying the accountant general's office, the regional's office, the IDP and the militia, comprehensive list of all fraudulent cases across government institutions. Thank you, Honorable Chair, Honorable I, I, I was meant to understand that the only one that was not highlighted as part of this was the COVID issues of suspected fraud relating to the COVID-19 uh, funds. Yes, those ones uh, were not part of the, the ones listed. Yes. But however, it's important to state that um, there are numerous other issues of suspected fraud after this period that we are also um, informed of the accountant general and uh, they also actually have sent us requests to further investigate some of those issues and uh, the gravity of these matters are really concerning to some extent they're very very concerning the trend is not very promising on that area and uh, we will definitely strongly recommend uh, the relevant authorities to step down actions for deterrences of these uh, uh, actions. Indeed, uh, we need to send very strong signals for actions of this nature, um, not to just merely put people on administrative leave and long, uh, never-ending investigations and uh, not recovering the funds putting them on criminal, uh, uh, criminal prosecution without a concurrent civil litigation that will really help the government to recover the monies that we have lost. If you take the case of the, the COVID um, as an example, that we understand and it's I think a public knowledge that it's a criminal prosecution is ongoing. But how about the civil recovery of those funds? If there is confirmed that the deliveries were not made, then we need our money back. So I, I think that is very important, and I think the committee's recommendation in that area is very much welcome. That and the committee has recommended in this resolution and previously also that strong enforcement action be taken to recover the monies and to deter people from committing some of these 
cases. I'm not going to demote them or to transfer them to one from one place to another, but to take the necessary um, disciplinary actions in relation to um, the gravity of these cases. Thank you, Honorable. Sometimes you could see transactions for which you have to do a detailed um, 
um, follow up as to number one, even the one that the, to establish the individual that does the deposit into that very account. So it has been a very complex um, um, bit. Even though we are of the view that, um, with, especially with, with, as it relates to revenue, with the um, payment gateway, we would do away with the revenue reconciliation in the sense that this is not going to be collected by individuals. But I must acknowledge the fact that it has been a very um, um, demanding component of what we do. But I think in-house what we have done is that we have, uh, what we have done is that we have segmented the reconciliation into different components. Whereby for any given account, um, we have designated individuals to look at that. Because um, um, whatever had happened in the past, um, going forward, we, we want to ensure that we do not um, um, find ourselves in this situation. But overall, I want to say we have done the analysis, but currently we are doing the deployment. And as such, um, even whereby we provide uh, the analysis, it's just going to be mere analysis, but the deployment we are doing as we've just opened the period to um, work on the revised 2021 and 2022, which is the earliest period we can deploy the unreconciled uh, issues. Yes, we are deploying this in the uh, in the system. In the system. How long do you think that will take? Um, give us up to the end of the month, and uh, yeah. Do you We have the details of the letter, but we are saying although the 20,000 could not be traced, we could not uh, re, um, trace the, the, the original voucher. Um, we had an evidence of its validity by providing um, an attestation from both the service provider and the uh, recipient of the SAR, that ministry that contracted the service. And um, we provided this. We went back to the service provider and he gave us an attestation to the fact that he provided the service. We, uh, we were also able to print this voucher because this is in the evenings, but that much we could go. So it's, it's only the 20,000 and uh, that much also is feasible as far as we can concerned because we can't trace the voucher, so but we have some additional evidence and, um, and as part of the OPS, uh, we made mention of our submission to this letter reference to provide uh, evidence of the validity of this 20,000. Okay. When was the service provided for the 
No, what was the service provided? What or when? What service was provided? You said you went to the service provided. Maintenance of AC, one of the ministries. Maintenance of AC, one of the ministries. And just for clarification, did you submit that evidence here in October 2023 or did you provide it to any group for the verification? I submitted to your office and have, I have a letter reference that we used to submit that evidence. Yeah, I think what we need to do is... Uh, Yeah, I think the sufficiency of that evidence needs to be evaluated by the So I think we can equally direct them by way of what uh, salary they can salary copy to any of us. In fact, the 392, um, uh, I believe there was an error with the whosoever was compiling this because this was the only transaction that was pending um, forwarded to our OK. So it was only supposed to be paid uh, 392 as per our latest object and not 392. Because this was the initial figure. Then um, we provided update and the auditor did confirm that uh, we had received the updates on the initial vouchers. I think I will talk about 
if we can provide uh, additional comments on the sufficiency or lack of it of the additional attestation that is being provided. And, and that is what back to the committee on that. Yes, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, at least you should applaud us from billions to 20,000. Huh? In fact, this one you should write up, Mr. Chair. No material. <laughs> I, I know it's the, the, the nature in terms of materiality, but uh, okay, thank you. Alright, that's what's going to be put at the Right? So, any other issue on that? We can proceed to the next page. No issue. Am I right? No. Page 9 also, no issue. Page 10 also, no issue. Page 11, there is. That is the uh, third That the Auditor General and Accountant General's Department was ensure that the audited accounts of the audited accounts of the government for the years 2020 and 2021 are submitted to the National Assembly by end of October 2023. The audited accounts of the government for the year 2020 has been submitted to the National Assembly. The draft accounts for the government for the year 2021 have also been submitted to the National Audit and the planning phase of the audit has already been commenced. Uh, that is the update or the status of the update. And on the remarks, the draft accounts of the government for the years 2021 and 2022, 2022 uh, 2021 has already been submitted to the National Public Office, NAO. Yeah, so that's the update on that. Accountant General, oh sorry, Auditor General, Auditor General, do you have any comment on that? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, we, we can confirm that they have submitted the uh, draft accounts for 2021 and 2022, and the audit of those draft accounts have also been completed. And the management letter has been sent to the accountant general um, for their management responses. So we are working closely with them. Um, uh, we plan to hold a decision at this tomorrow uh, for the management letter of 2021 and 2022. So that we can come back. Thank you. And 2021? And 2022, what is probably not my account, but 2021 and 2022. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is at the management letter response. Management letter response, yes. So there was any other issue? Then the next one is 24. Yes. That effective immediately, board controllers refund government all money spent on single source procurements that have not been authorized prior to any purpose. An assessment was carried out to certify the volume and extent of the works that was carried out at the State House. This was the basis for the payment of the 17,488,155.63 to Guy Enterprise. The assessment was done prior to the approval from EPA on the 29 March 2019 and contract signing on 2nd May 2019. The specific uh, approval was sought for the use of the single source well after this rehabilitation work was completed. Goods bought from the Fatima trading amount to 5,637,000 were delivered to the office of the president on on 11 March 2019 before requesting for approval from the GP on 7 April 2019. 
The service of Fatima trading were used three weeks before, the seek, before seeking single source approval from GBA. Review of payment voucher number indicated and the date indicated as 21st December 2019 revealed that the office equipment to the tune of $50,251 was paid to Fatima Trading. No receipt was provided as well as signature or of recipient that confirmed payment received, although these items were delivered. The purchase order, the request for quotations, we are only using four days after the payment has been made to the supplier on 27 December 2019. Uh, on that, all institutions are to take note. The counter general, they do make that known to all institutions. Well, it did not occur to us that. Um, we were required to communicate this. Yes. Um, so we have not done any um, communication to institutions. Like that. Uh, and so you do not act as well? Um, act with respect to which of the issues? That is, the, the, the issue is on the, the resolution that is to say effective immediately. Both controllers to inform government all money spent to single source procurement that have not been authorized prior to any purpose. That means effective all institutions should be notified about that. Um, so here you would want us to send a circular to that effect? Of course. Okay. That is effective, they should be aware of that. But otherwise, if anybody acted otherwise, they will face the consequences. Um, I, I think I'll just also bring out something, um, Mr. Chair. Um, sometimes you have instances where an MD would ask for um, request for single sourcing, and uh, this is duly authorized by TPBA. But sometimes it turned out that um, perhaps the auditors deemed it not um, necessary for it to go to a single sourcing procurement process. So we do have instances like that. So in as much as um, the other, the, we would have to communicate, but I think at some point arbitration has to be done because sometimes auditors will say, okay, it did not warrant a single sourcing, and the end will be like, no, 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 I have gone through the due process, and um, if GBPA had deemed it not necessary or not. Um, 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 allowed for, for single something they should have rejected this. So these are this is, these are kind of situations that we do face. But auditors would be other one to say no no I did not accept. But in this case I think now it should be between now the the GPPA because they are mandated to do due diligence prior to them approving between them and uh, perhaps the auditors or whosoever needs to come on board to arbitrate. Because sometimes it's not because there is no authority, but there's authority, but it is questioned by the auditors. Thank you, Honorable Chair. I just wish to disagree uh, partly with the Director of the General and also agree with her part. Mm. One part that I will agree with her is that if the procurement was approved by the GPPA for single source, and then there were question marks around the justifications uh, being advanced were not very strong from an auditor's point of view. That one, we cannot uh, clearly say that those reforms, people should remember, where the right authority has approved. We may have concerns about whether it should have been approved or not, but and it has been approved. But I think in the case concerned here with this particular resolution, it's about those ones that we are not having single source authorizations that went ahead being single source. And this is where now the Accounting General should list out, they know these payment borders, they know the board controls who authorize them, and they should identify those list of board controls and communicate the resolution and the instruction in the resolution 
those relevant load controllers. Because this is not talking about justification that we are insufficient. It's talking about not having a single source approval in the first place. Thank you.
and our legal department will look at uh, this resolution that you form. Because by looking at it myself, I have some concerns. But that I would like us to deal with in time. You know, you know. So thank you, Jim. Is there a need to tell somebody to do the right thing? Yes, because right now I will tell you to do the right thing is to raise your hand, ask for approval before taking the line. Chair, so I will also do the right thing to tell you that you are not co chair. You see, thank you. But there is no need to tell somebody to do the right She's thing. It's right. the law. But again, yes. yeah, let's but progress. again, Mr. Chair, I'm a character. So, no, no, I'm here on the floor. On the same issue. On the same issue, yes. What we are saying here is to respect the laws and, uh, for example, if the auditors come up with an audit report that mentions something that something is wrong, and from the head, he is saying that it's only an opinion. Obviously, the laws will be broken. You will not respect it. Is it is. It is. Can I, can, I, can I say something? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just want to raise a point of order. You see, no, we put it. But I just, can I, okay, will I have the floor after you? Excuse me. Yes, I'm requesting the floor. Yes, when, 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 when I'm done, you request and Okay, I'm requesting before you are done. So, uh, on them, I think that the comment is not related to me. It is related. We are talking about what is I'm coming, I'm coming. The comment you made is not related to the resolution. It's okay. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I think that, 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 that's why I mean I asked whether it's related to the to, yeah, you say it's related to the topic. Opinion once opinion honestly I'm the once opinion on the uh, on the uh, on the report. It's not what we are talking about as far as the resolution is concerned. So I advise that any issue that we are dealing with, what we are doing is to receive update on the resolution. We limit ourselves to that particular resolution. And, and, and adherence. No, yeah, when, uh, whatever. If the resolution is about adherence, yeah, we let that be. It is adherence. Adherence, that's what I'm saying. But what I'm trying to say, what we have, the statement that we have made, that one is not related to this one. Mr. Chair, if you have the report, it says yeah. adherence. If it's only opinion, then you, are, you choose whether to adhere or not. But you quoted that one said that opinion is just an opinion. If it's an opinion, then you choose its opinion. Yeah, for, for that one, I am saying that that one is not related to the resolution. What we want to get the update from the department, that is the accountant general department. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm on the floor. Update from the accountant the, the general department. Regarding the implementation of the state resolution, and we have heard from them, and we've asked them to notify the institutions concerned that effective on the 18th, the day this resolution was passed, nobody should act without the approval. If you do so, you'll be found wanting. That message was not given yes. We did not say who should give the notification. Now we are giving the, the authorization to the accountant general to do the notification. By now, I'm not saying somebody, is, somebody has flouted, but if that happened, there will be no excuse. On that one? Thank you, Chair. So I just want to bring to you this that uh, as long as we have to be very responsible, and being responsible means taking the matters before us seriously. And we cannot do that if we keep debating just to get some cheap attention. What we have in front of us is Christian Clare. That should serve, that should serve as a retired. The people, why are they in all the issues? These are the things we do, and at the end of the day, the public don't have any respect for the National Assembly. Because you just want to popularity. We are honorable men and women. Okay. Speak of substance with regards to what is in front of you. Yeah. Okay, we, are, we come from different political backgrounds. But when we sit in this committee, we do our work objectively. So don't sit here and think you can be comfortable to be called people who are leaders to others. 
And you think things will go well as long if we want to work the other theory. The point is outside the soul. You bring it inside this room, you will destroy this assembly. Because this assembly is supposed to be what? Okay. Impartial. Oh, no. So, when you put here, you know what we do? Please are carrying your indulgence. If sorry. anybody brings to it, only to you. Let me call that. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. telling you, any of you brings to it, just let them be. And Mr. Okay. Yes, we sorry. are sorry. Sorry. Let no, no, no. Can you allow me now? Okay, you can hear me now. Yes, I think. I am a respected, honorable member in this country. Honorable member. Accounting and not self accounting projects, and the people that are overseeing these projects. On the status, the following institutions provided their list of projects Minister of Environment, Minister of Finance, Minister of Gender, Minister of Transport, Office of the Vice President. All the MBAs did not comply, must do so immediately without delay. That is why we are confirming that these are the institutions that comply. And it means in the remarks, there are other institutions that are yet to comply. Also take on that, Accountant General. 
Uh, Mr. Chair, I believe this um, resolution was shared to the Ministry of Public Service Delivery and all the other people um, MPAs were, were, um, were aware of this requirement. So as such, we are the one that coordinated this activity and of course they submitted directly to the National Assembly as to the weather or as to the, uh, um, the requirement for us to spare head this, I am not aware. But I, I am pleased with the fact that uh, they received the communication of the resolution and they responded. So I'm not sure where we are required to come in here. Can we take that uh, response from the vice president would be able to capture that response? Or oh, okay. Yes. Yes. It must be even alternated. Accountant general slash yeah. What it says here, Mr. Chair, that the all the ministers must provide to the effort, not to the uh, Why does it say the So why are you? Yeah, it must not provide to FPAC. So now that's why FPAC is making it as an action point. Yes, and for that to happen. This was the resolution requesting what this did not happen. And that's why we are saying not the institutions now, but the heads that like the accountant general or the office of the vice president should ensure that that happens. Yes, sir. Um, Honorable Chair, if you could recall, the main reason we put in uh, the ATD is that we are really believe that you might be in a position to know all the buyers, right? So as a starting point, if we can have a comprehensive list from you, we'll be in a better position to reconcile it against anything that you might be receiving from OVB. Yes, I believe um, in consultation with the Minister of Finance, we should be able to give you the list of the projects. Yes, so that much we should be able to. So now we have that, can we do it both ways? Request a list from uh, Account and Energy Department, which is the one side of the the one we will receive it from OVP. Mr. we have a list of five ministries. Five? That's five ministries. And yes. the following institutions provided their list of projects. Yes. Now we have a list of these five ministries. We, are we um, up to date mm. on the. Um, mm. On the conditions and the stages of all these projects, whether they were completed and all that, because that was the reason. Maybe that, that is the reason why we asked for the list of projects. And we have five. Are they up to date? Have they been completed? Have they complied? I think that is the reason why we yeah, asked. I think the ones that are listed and once confirmed that they are, they are provided. They are provided a list of their projects. But the what list. is the. So the list of institutions that have been served. Uh, uh, Self-accounting or non-self-accounting projects are these uh, list yeah. are these ministries. So other ministries we are yet to confirm where they have been self-accounting and non-self-accounting projects. So that's what we are further asking for that also to be provided. I hope that answers your question. So what do we do now? We just this has been like over two years. This has been like nearly a year, That's from what? September 2023, and they are yet to provide. So what do we do going forward? That is the update we are giving. We are now requesting for her also to lay with the Minister of Finance. The, the next step is Mr. Chair, that is the problem. We cannot just say go back. We should say this is, you, we have waited one year, and you have not complied. If you do not know this, but just, just don't say go and break. Because then we will wait another year, and then if they don't bring, they will say, yeah. okay, go and bring again. So what the, do we do? The essence of this resolution is that the ministry and the accountant should be in position to know institutions that are self-accounting and not self-accounting. This was not the case before. That was the query point. And we are saying that that should be regularized. That should be known to the accountant general and the ministry of finance. That's the essence of the, 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 the audit. 
Now that we are trying to confirm, some complied and they were able to get that information. But that they are yet to get that information. And now we are bound to say that they should get that information. That's it clearly from the auditors. And I'm, what I'm saying is, it's been a year. No, I, I, yeah. I don't know where you understand. Right. I understand if it's been a year. Uh -huh. And on that, what do you think we should now do? Did we start arresting. Look look at uh, look at the look at the resolution point. Read it. It said that that all ministers must provide prefer. We are having AGD in front of us. If we must act now, let's start calling the ministers one by one. Then you act on them. What we are trying to do is leverage on the access that AGD have so that we can have information that will serve as a baseline to the concern that we will have from OBD. But the original point is absolute in its demands. It said that all ministries must provide a plan. So I strongly believe we are on track here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we can let, let me just call this from both angles. What happened? This was the resolution for the judge A. September 20, 2023. Mm -hmm. They should provide that information to us. Absolutely. And they failed to do so. Do that. Do so. Yeah. so now we authorize mm -hmm. the office of the vice president to so make sure institutions comply and do that. That's it. Because we cannot compel them to do it. We can only tell them that you have to do it and we give them the timeline. Yeah. If the authority fails to make them comply, mm -hmm. now they will also be responsible. But they are directly under them. We are oversight institutions. And we spoiled that. We cannot, that. we cannot take them to court. They are supposed to do this action, they don't do the action. The institutions that they are directly on are the ones that make sure they do it. If that is not done, mm -hmm. we can take further recommendations. Exactly. That's that. Yeah. I think we are making After it. one year, I think you are not there when we are doing the briefing. Exactly. That's the fact. We submitted it, please, on the 6th of December. That is by this deadline, we have to receive reaction from institutions. Regarding extra information and with the committee accommodated, we want to give the benefit of the doubt. And we provide that information to the auditors. And they went further to do the auditing. That was reported to us. And we concluded and realized that no changes occur. And then maintained our position. We wrote the Inspector General of Police on the 6th of December for them to act on areas where did the, the situation have to change? December on the 6th. And we expected that that should elapse around March. They were scheduled to appear before the committee, our next committee meeting. When there was a the day before, or shortly before that, all committee meetings were suspended. Are you giving a recap now? No, no, I'm because she was not. She had this process. No, yeah. Because it was not all of the meetings were suspended. The company could not get the update from the Inspector General of Police. And yeah, since yeah. then, yeah. we do not have any company session until now. Yeah. That's why they are appearing now to give us updates. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think you said it all, and I agree with what you have said. That's why they should have co completed with everything done, with all the time that yeah, they so That is why. What so, so, so that's the update. Now, what they were yeah. doing, we don't know. It's not that we're supposed to know whether they were doing it, the work or not. Can I talk also? Yeah. yeah. In fact, they were doing it to give us. No, let's allow it. We need clarity. No, you have to wait. This, 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 this is going to be public. No, we're talking now. We're allow it. Let's allow it. When you sign it, then you'll do it for no, yeah. I don't know any time. Yeah, I want to add the reason why not. But as you know that we are supposed to have classes later on in the afternoon and you are the head boy. I don't want you to be late. Please. Then we have already done the I'm not the manager of the I'm the chairman.
No, no, Chair, I just want to make a quick clarification. Chair, I just want to make a clarification. It was never the responsibility of the Accountant General's Department to give us a comprehensive list. I think that should be clear. That was not the action or the resolution which was passed by PNN. It was supposed to be the ministries. And this morning when we met, we agreed that we asked the view. We only added the Accountant General's Department to the list so that we can have leverage on their access and have a baseline to triangulate whatever information we receive. So I think that should be clear. Because many times you talk to the public. So if you is very public, yeah. they should get the full story. Okay. Thank you. You said that is so a So information from the ministry yeah. is more on the office of the vice president. Yeah, you can, yeah. You can, yeah. I don't know why you're spending more time on this. Because for me, yeah, the is, I think we are making a positive impact, and then the AD is definitely doing a great job. We ask for updating, and if you look at the resources that we have already passed, they are making a positive impact because we recover the money, and then therefore put pressure. Unless you people ask us to go back to our dictatorship, like forcing people or taking them to give. We are on the process, the democracy is all about the process, and that's the process that we are doing. <laughs> if you want now what Jai is saying, we start asking and taking them to my two, oh, yeah. 25 star hotel. You were the I mean, that's what I want, that's what you want, that's what you told us. We can put that pressure, but I think we are making a positive impact. Okay, I think, I think that's, that's that. Uh, that. That's the last resolution concerning that country. Yeah. Uh, I believe we are glad that uh, the of this that we're supposed to get from you. Okay. And all of all of them together, we can now extend it to third phase of this one. For the submission of the written objects. Okay? Chair, uh, yeah. you know what? 36. 36? That is the uh, uh, accounting general list. Uh, okay, let's look at that one. Another accounting general list with the Ministry of Justice to provide to the Auditor General and FPA Everyone that was including the general commission treasury receipt amounted to the amount twenty two million three hundred ninety one thousand nine hundred fifty seven point nine two and other information pertaining to the sale of the assets of the former president Jamie on or before twenty eighth September twenty twenty three. Failing Failing with the Inspector General of Police was launched an investigation and reported to FPAP within nine days. Appointment qualification, what is that, sorry. The following in document, documentation are yet to be received by the National Police Office, the legal gazette establishing the commission, the cabinet white paper, the advertisement for the auction, the appointment, qualification, certification of values, valuation of reports of the subject matter, and list of the buyers. Now, this was what was not forthcoming by the deadline that is 28 September 2023. By that, the matter is also referred to the police for investigation. Okay? Are you saying it's indication? Yeah, it's indication. Matter to be referred to the Inspector General of Police for investigation. When we wrote the police on the third, on the sixth of December, this is part of the matters referred to them for investigation. You have an update? Yes, um, you, are, you are welcome. Yes, um, we recently had a meeting at the Ministry of Justice, um, high level meeting. Um, and in attendance was uh, the Accountant General as well as the Auditor General, the big man himself. And uh, of course, we, um, I believe we are yet to receive the documentation, but they committed themselves to provide the documentation and they had a kind of heap of fund um, documents um, and they've confirmed that they've gotten all the required documentation. So we had requested that they submit this directly to Auditor General. Um, and a copy of so um, but I believe I tried to obtain an update on that as of yesterday but there was this particular document that was pending um, once they received it they should be able to provide the required document 
As to the extent of what has been obtained, I can't uh, maybe specify, but um, we had agreed that they should list all the documents that were available and submit to the Auditor General. So I'm of the view that most of these documents now are available. And, uh, but to what extent, of course, when it's received by the Auditor General, should be able to confirm and uh, perhaps um, let us know what the residual um, documents are. But this much I know um, that um, Mr. of Justice has done, and uh, that's the update. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Yes, I can confirm um, her statements that we have had a high level meeting and the promise uh, that we got from the Attorney General um, and the Minister and his team was to provide this documentation as it is rightly stated. Um, so we are waiting for them that they will submit and inventorize everything that they submit to us. For example, they will itemize all the list of documents that they have as per the original request that we made and then they will bring that to our attention and copy the account and general and that this list of documents and then we will do our review and then provide them with the feedback and up to date. But just to know that uh, I think there is a caveat here that this is the similar request to the 2022 and 2021 audit. Therefore, if these documents or the resolution relates to 2019 and 2020 accounts, I want to believe it may be, uh, there may be some complementary information related to 2019 and 2020, but what we have uh, been discussing was mostly, I'm sure, uh, but I think you will agree that it was 2021 and 2022, because that was the two issues that we were uh, particularly discussing. So I'm not sure the issue of the previous uh, issue was clarified. I believe um, it, it, they have submitted a list of documentation during the audit of 2020, 2019 and 2020 um, as to, to the extent of what you would require. That's not a matter, but I know the chunk of the receipts were submitted for which I still have a copy in my office, but this was officially submitted. Um, of course, we, what we want to say that, in fact, the chunk of the, uh, the sales we had carried out during those, those 20, 2020 and 2019, these were just few transactions we had in the subsequent year, but information in that regard was submitted. But of course, um, you know, this was a continuous process. But um, if you still need that documentation, I'm not sure it's, it's part of whether it's part of the current packet, but I still have that, the documentation they submitted in relation to the priorities. Yes, we can confirm that with them. I think some of the matters will relate to both years, for example, the appointment issues and all of that, would of course uh, transcend beyond the uh, period of 2022 and 2021. But we will have to come back to the House and, and give a feedback on it after we receive those documented. Because the same issue is related to the audit of 2022 and 2021. Thank you. So, uh, Governor General will add that to the resolution that is supposed to be updated, okay? Mr. Chair, it's only to the part of the police. No, but the narration to the part of our update. Any other issue? Final brief? Okay. You said it's already been referred to the police um, since.
I am not. I'm 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 not. And this one also is, is it very clear there. Refer to the police for investigation. Okay? And in the morning, that was what we were doing. Trying to spot uh, the ones refer to the police. The ones refer to the accountant general and the national audit. And clearly indicated that this one is referred to the We are expecting they will give an update on that. I hope that's clear. Okay, in the absence of no other issue, I think we are done with the accountant general, Clara, that is first. That's it, it's that first. Big day salaries, it's that first. Hmm? Is it Friday or what? So the submission of the objects okay, in writing. It's next week Thursday. Next week Thursday, deadline. Is that okay? Is it here? Huh? Okay. It's not there? Okay. It's not there. And not to include a complete list. Yeah. Everybody. All the information that we need. Clara, what do you have to say? It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. She's very happy. I can see that. <laughs> okay, then we have another request for of the chief of the police to come. Uh, at this point, we can allow the camera the department to take a leave and to thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, honorable members. Only in the house, only in the house. <laughs> 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 <laughs>